baking sourdough bread has become popular recently. Our Caroline Carruthers has gotten into it too. Oh, it's so good. She shows you what it actually takes to make sourdough bread and talks with a local woman who's made it her business. Mama Danzi, Elissa's great grandmother, was her inspiration for baking bread. She had this saying that we still talk about today. It says, uh, if I got bread, you got bread. Her meaning behind it was, whatever I have is yours too. Elissa followed that mantra, baking normal sandwich bread for her family, until the COVID-19 pandemic hit in 2020. And then we couldn't get flour and we couldn't get yeast and all this kind of stuff. So I got into sourdough. <laughs> Now, Elissa has a full-blown business making and selling more than 20 loaves of sourdough bread each week. She offers bagels, jams, granola, and farm fresh eggs too. Now, sourdough is different from making regular bread. Instead of using commercial yeast, the dough is made using what's called a starter. It's simple. It's just flour and water that you mix together. Fermentation of this starter creates wild yeast, which causes the bread to rise, and it also gives the bread its signature sour flavor. I also love the taste of sourdough, so my older sister went online and bought a sourdough starter that is actually 233 years old. It was passed down through generations, and after she did that, I just knew I had to try it. My baking hobby allowed me to share sourdough bread with my friends and family, and that's how Jay Chalmers got started, too. He says there's just something special about providing made-from-scratch food for your family. You know, you look at a loaf of bread from the bread aisle, and there's 30-something ingredients. And then you bake bread at home, and there's four ingredients. Now, baking sourdough takes time, but it's satisfying to master the process. First, you feed your starter with flour and water. Let this rise until it doubles. Then you add this starter to more flour, water, and salt to make enough dough for what you're making. Next, let the dough sit and periodically stretch and fold the dough to layer it and help it build its gluten structure. Now here's where the patience pays off. You've got to wait for the dough to rise. This can take about six hours in the summer, up to 12 hours in the winter. Finally, it's time to shape it and bake it. That whole process takes about 24 hours. I grew up uh, in a place where we had a local French bakery that made unbelievably good, crusty, delicious bread. So because I love really good, high quality bread, the place I know I can get it is by making it myself. <laughs> Once you get an established sourdough starter, you can make so much more than just bread. Burger buns, pretzel bites, bagels, pizza crusts, all tasty and worth your time. Alongside photojournalist Nicholas Johnson, I'm meteorologist Caroline Carruthers, WKRG News 5.